This is a question from College Board Practice Test 6, Module 1. This is not a very hard question. However, this can be very time consuming unless you know this trick. Now let's read the question. The table shows three values of x and their corresponding values of g of x, where g of x equals f of x divided by x plus 3 and f is a linear function. What is the y-intercept of the graph of y equals to f of x in the xy plane? So, we are interested in the y-intercept of the graph of y equals to f of x. So now, let's start from what is given. So given is g of x equals f of x divided by x plus 3. So we can write f of x as g of x times x plus 3. And the second clue right here is f is a linear function. So that means f of x can be written as y equal to mx plus b form. Now, if you are interested in the alternate method, um, I have attached a link in the description. Um, that explains all the technicalities of solving this question by finding the slope and intercept um, in doing some algebra. Since you have access to Desmos, you can eliminate all of that work. And so the first thing that I'm going to do here is add another column for f of x. Now that we know f of x is equal to g of x plus x plus, sorry, g of x times x plus three, we can just plug in the value of x and g of x to get the corresponding f of x. Since f is a linear function, we need just two points to graph. However, I'm going to find f of x for all the three x values right here. So the first x value is negative 27. You plug in f of x is g of x is 3 and x is negative 27. You get f of x equal to negative 72. Um, when x is equal to negative 9, you plug in the value of g of x, which is 0 times negative 9 plus 3 f of x equal to 0. When x equal to 21, um, g of x is 5. So you plug in the values, you get f of x equal to 120. So I'm going to just um, write this separately in a table um, just to look organized. So we have x equal to negative 27 and corresponding y or f of x is negative 72. When x is negative 9, y is 0, x is 21, y is 120. Now again, we need just two points um, to graph this equation. Now we're going to use the Desmos and find the equation of the line and the y-intercept. So I'm going to pull my Desmos screen up right there and I'm going to add the table right here to do that. Just click on this plus button and table. So there you go. So now you write all the x and y values. Our first one is negative 27. Um, again, you just need um, two points to graph the line, uh, but we are going to add all three. Um, negative 27, the corresponding um, y value is negative 72. Um, next is negative 9, and the corresponding y is 0. And next, uh, the third one is 21, and the corresponding um, y value is 120. Now, to get the line, so you go to the left side, you see add regression. So we're going to click on that. So that creates a linear regression. Um, since our uh, function is linear, the linear regression is going to fit perfectly. Now we need to find the y-intercept. So I'm going to just go down here and click on this point where the graph intersects the y-axis, so which is 0, 36, which is our answer. Also, you can see the equation of the line here, y equals 4x plus 36. So 4 is the slope of this line, and 36 is the y-intercept. The answer choice is A, 0, 36. So these are some of the tricks that you must know if you're taking digital SAT. This saves you tons of time, and you can use that time to review difficult questions in the end.